Okay guys, I was doing a going to try and do a video on hammer forming, but it didn't work very well for me. Uh, you can see here, this I got the shape that I roughly wanted that would go in, you know, in this corner here, up in here. You know, I didn't get anywhere near as deep as I wanted it to be, but I got it close, but I, that was about the point where I kind of gave up. And uh, the reason why was my forms just aren't strong enough. They're just splitting all over the place. So uh, I'm going to have to reconsider what I'm doing here. I was pretty much out my whole weekend there. They look pretty and they fit real nice up in here. I'll show you. I showed you in the other videos, but there's no point in point posting them because they're kind of a massive fail. So they fit up in there. You can see the recess where you would pound the... Uh, the uh, intersection down in there. Um, at this point, you know, those parts are available as a patch panel, but I figured I would try and learn something here and try and make a hammer for them and try and make them myself, but it didn't quite work the way I expected. Wibble wobble. Anyways, so now I have to figure out a new course, which the new course of action might be just to Make a, put a flat piece in there and not try and have that uh, contour in it, you know, and revisit this at some other time when I'm not, you know, trying to get something done real fast here. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, and this piece here was, uh, was a hammer form to, you know, form this lip as it comes down and around here so I could rebuild that, in case you were wondering. It was kind of not a refined idea on that one. So, anyways. So, now it's like 2 in the afternoon on Sunday, and uh, i got to figure out what I'm doing now. I do have a bead roller. I could try forming that with the bead roller, but I wouldn't be able to form a half-inch deep one unless I want to go and turn some new dies for the bead roller, which would be a hell of a lot more fun than this is right now. Anyways, guys. Okay, so that's the current iteration of uh, my reproduction of... Uh, well, I actually, I made a mistake and I <laughs> did the wrong side, but this this piece right under here. Um, still not 100%. I did the center section with the bead roller. And I clamped it between my two pieces, like so. And, uh, and, uh, and hammered it around it. And uh, this edge doesn't look too bad. This front edge, that would be. Doesn't look too bad. Back edge doesn't look too bad, except right in this corner where it's kind of a fairly sharp curve. And no matter what he did, it just wanted it just wanted to bulge up right there. And I think I just have to basically just pie cut right into that corner there, and probably just end up just welding it up after the fact. Um, not 100% satisfied with using the bead roller to do this. The bead roller, um, somebody at one point had recommended a long time ago that I break the edges of my bead rollers, like round them off, you know, because that's what you're seeing here, is you're seeing the edge of the outer bead, or uh, what do you want to call it, the outer roller here, and the inner roller here, you know, like about a quarter inch in, all the way around there, kind of a ghost image of it. I know I'm just being fussy on a part that nobody, you know, 99% of people who ever looked at this car would never see, but... The whole point of doing this is to learn how to do it and to do it right. So I'm just looking at this and I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, I thought about, because uh, this is only a quarter inch deep and the original is half an inch deep in the uh, bead right here. Um, I thought about turning out a couple of new rollers uh, on the lathe, but I didn't have any stock. I thought I had some two inch uh, steel, but it, I only found two inch aluminum and that just wouldn't cut it. So, um, I'm going to probably just play around with this some more. Maybe I'll hammer and dolly that and just see, but I don't think I'm going to take that crease out. This side doesn't matter because this is inside the car, in, tucked in a corner where you can't see it. But this side, yeah, you can kind of see this. I'm not exactly happy with this corner. No matter how much pounding on it I did, I couldn't get any better. I might go and uh, crank out another couple of these. Like this one is broken, so it's toast, but fortunately that wasn't my uh, my template. This one was the one I used as my template, but even it's starting to look a little worse for wear now. 
you can see right there. And uh, so what I'm thinking I'll do is before this one gets completely destroyed, I'll make another couple of copies of it. But I think I know what I what my mistake was with the hammer form. You know, obviously I said it at one point in one of the videos, whether or not it was one of the ones I posted, that I thought that this was kind of thin. And to make one hammer form to do the whole piece maybe wasn't realistic, at least especially with that thin piece there. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and I'm going to make two hammer forms that would make each aspect of the uh, of the uh, shape. You know, one hammer form like this one is for the forming the outer shape on, you know, like like that. Now, unfortunately, that piece actually there's always going to have to be one piece that's going to have both features in it because there's no way to unless you form the edge and then form roll the bead. Um, you you need a solid piece to recess into this, and you can't really roll the bead very well with this edge in here. So, anyways, I'm just rambling now, but uh, I figured out a fairly quick way to duplicate these. Is I, I rough cut it out to shape, and then I just use the follow bit on the uh, on the router, and it uh, and it seems to work quite well for doing that. Matter of fact, this one is the one I used to copy that one, the outer profile of that one, and it fits quite well into the recesses of the vehicle. Oh, I wonder how many times I've shown this. I wonder how many times this, this won't make it into the video. But that's how it fits in there. It's actually milled this aligned here. You get the idea. It fits in there like that. So, anyways. Oh, I'm going to keep trying. I haven't given up yet. <laughs> oh, what a mess, eh? Okay, so I did a little bit more. I just trimmed the flanges on this one and I actually uh, fit it up here. And it would fit. It absolutely would fit. Very nicely, if I can get it in there, right? There we go. So, well, not that that's a very good view. I can't actually see. Anyways, it would fit. So I guess I just have to decide if that's an acceptable amount of... Uh, or acceptable level of work. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's unreasonable to expect that you should be able to make a panel that looks like it's factory. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try again. So I'm going to keep that one on the side in case I still want to use it. It's not horrible, but it's not great, you know, like big pie cut there. Still couldn't get that edge to break over no matter how far back I cut it. I could probably still cut it back further even. I probably could have made multiple pie cuts along there to relieve it along the edge. Um, yeah, I'm frustrated, you know, as much as anything, I'm more frustrated with the bead rolling than I am the, the shaping along the edge because some of that shaping along the edge isn't bad and a little bit of clean up and it probably would look great. But that stupid bead roller. So what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those dies and I'm going to break the edges on them and I'm going to try rolling another bead again in the same pattern as this one, another piece of sh uh, sheet metal and see how we go. I'm wasting a lot of sheet metal trying to do this but uh, well I got another $29 sheet sitting there so I'll uh, and I got this piece here as well and some pieces over there but those pieces I've noticed seem to be harder even though they're the same thickness as these ones this one here, uh, they seem to be harder. So I don't know that they would be necessarily the best ones for uh, for any kind of metal shaping. And the reality is maybe I should be looking for some of the, you know, the legendary aluminum killed steel that is supposed to be legendarily easily uh, uh, formed. But uh, I've heard, heard tell that that's, uh, uh, it, it exists, but, uh, uh, you don't need it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna try and make another one of these, except for the for the right side, literally. Okay, just a uh, quick follow-up on the on the bead rolling. Uh, when I broke the 
the dies and I tried to test where I went and I followed this line around here and had an interesting effect. It should have made just a single step like that, but uh, instead, because of the way that it was trapped between the dies, the bottom die sandwiched it like that and bent it over. This is the actual incline part that is this part here, and that part is there. It actually shows just how much, you know, rolling uh, beads into a panel really make it a lot stiffer. You know, like uh, that would be quite flobbery if, uh, if it was just a piece of sheet metal, but with that uh, bead rolled into it, it's very, very stiff actually. But it did kind of frustrate me with the bead roller a little bit. I did this test afterwards to just see if it was the way the dies were set up and uh, and you know like with a straight piece it seemed to work okay. It still is kind of marking that edge even though I, I rounded off the edges of it but you know it's the best I can do I guess with that right now. So what I decided to do was I made a new one of these. It's just a duplicate of the original one. Um, I wanted to save this one so that I wouldn't have to completely start from scratch again before this one got destroyed. And uh, and so I made this copy, and if I break this one, then I can just make another copy of that one because I won't use it anymore. And there's a good reason for that because obviously they're not as strong as you'd like to think they are. Or I'd like to think they are. Okay, so now I've got a new tactic going that I'm going to try. Not today, unfortunately. I'm going to... Um, I made this hollow to shape the center section, which is that depression that you see here in it. And uh, this should be a lot stronger, a lot more meat to this, so that it shouldn't crack like that other piece did. And uh, it gives me a lot of clamping around the edges here as well. You know, like I might put a fairly big piece of steel in here, but uh, I think that'll be okay. So what I'm going to do with this one is, I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to try, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put the whole thing in a press, you know, and just try pressing this into the center. And this piece, this uh, stake shaped thing, is uh, is basically the match for fitting in that spot there. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad, I think. I can always go and clean up the edges if I do, if it works for me. But this was just something quick I wanted to go and do and try. Nothing quick here, though. So anyways, we're going to try that tomorrow, and uh, and uh, the philosophy here behind this is to shape that inner piece one way, and then I can shape the outer lip, you know, with these two pieces here, you know, to roll the edge over, depending upon which side it's for, to go like that for the, what would that one be for? That would actually be for the driver's side. So the other one, the other direction would be this way, because this has to have that opening in it for this recess to come up into. That's why they're both not solid. And it would make it very, very difficult if I formed the flanges on the edge and then formed the inner piece. Now, if none of this works well, <laughs> the end result will be I won't even bother trying to form the inner flange and I'll just use a flat piece of metal and I'll shape the edges. And this all have been a big waste of time, but I figure this is useful information to, to know about how to hammer form something. So I want to figure out how to do it. I'll see how that goes. It's not really hammer forming if I use the, this to press it, but I expect I'll try again with the hammer form anyways. Okay, that's it for today, guys. This is probably going to be a very long video, even with all the stuff I dropped out of it. Um, so... I'll let you guys go, and I'll say thanks for watching, and here's kitties. Lazy bones. <laughs> and then there's this one. Uh-oh, am I in trouble? And Mr. Max. And Toby and Mo. <laughs> There's the kitty uh, census. <laughs>